Hey guys, I am Sweet Nightingale and welcome to my brand new Sims 3 LP. This is going to be called The Love Ship and you will understand why as soon as I get done explaining this. Now, uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I hope you stick around and enjoy what you see here. For those of you that have been with me for a while and those of you that are um, subscribed but are fairly new, welcome, welcome again. Uh, hello to all of you. Um, <clears throat> anyway, now before we get started with this LP, I just want to get a couple of things straight. First of all, um, I am playing The Sims 3 with the visual impairment, so um, I have no eyesight in my left eye and very little eyesight in my right eye, so my gameplay style is going to be a lot slower than what um, a lot of LPers do. Okay, so if you're looking for a speedy McGreedy, you know, somebody that really rushes through the game very, very quickly, um, then my channel is not going to be for you. I take a more relaxed pace. My gameplay style is slower. Number one, because I can't see well enough to go super fast. And number two, I just don't like going super fast because you miss a lot. So um, if you're looking for a more relaxed uh, format, then stick around because I think you'll enjoy this. But again, if you're looking for uh, super fast paced, then um, this is not going to be for you. Now with that said, um, also I want to point out that um, no hater comments on my video is going to be allowed. I don't mind constructive feedback, but if um, if you feel the need to leave a hater comment, then you're going to have to leave it somewhere else because those kinds of comments, um, nasty, rude hater comments, are going to be taken off the video. And if it's offensive enough to me, then you will be blocked. I have blocked people before, and um, I will do it again if, if I feel it is warranted. So um, <clears throat> I hope I don't sound too much like a bitch or anything, but I just, um, you know, I, I just don't feel that there's any need for any of that. So um, anyway, so... Just, uh, you know, just a little friendly, uh, a friendly warning, I guess, call it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on with this LP. Now, the premise of this is, um, you know, I do several series, so you can kind of find an LP on my channel that hopefully you will like and enjoy. Several, in fact, if not all of them. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the premise of this LP is going to be quite different. This is a subscriber interactive LP, which means to participate, you have to be a subscriber to my channel, okay? Okay. Now, the premise of this LP, as I was saying, is I have um, the ultimate good fairy here, and she is on the screen, which I'll introduce you guys to her in just a minute. But um, we have a good fairy here, and uh, the reason why this is called the love ship, we're just, you know, this, this is going to be pretty apparent here in just a minute. But um, my good fairy here, uh, her, what she does is she finds these single sims, you know, these lone sims, or, you know, sims that are hard on their luck, you know, the ones that aren't married, you know, or attached or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> she finds these Sims and she, um, invites them to come live with her on her, um, magnificent houseboat, which we're going to get on a magnificent houseboat here. So she invites them to come live with her. And while they're living with her, um, you know, she befriends them. She, you know, pretty much takes care of them and, and, um, it's her job to actually go out and meet people and to, uh, carefully consider, who um, would be a good match for the Sims that she's taking care of at the time. And we're going to be doing two Sims um, on the houseboat at once. So right now, um, what it would be like starting out would be uh, my fairy Sim here, plus two Sims that, that would um, join her in the in the household. These two Sims would be the ones that she's helping at the moment. So what's going to happen is, is, is uh, she finds, basically she's a matchmaker. She's going to play Cupid. And um, uh, so she's going to play matchmaker and she's going to find um, the perfect mate for these two sims that she's helping out. So each sim is going to get their own husband or wife or whatever. So, yeah. Um, and then so, you know, and then once they get ready to get married, you know, she gives them a big wedding and stuff. And then she, um, then after the couple has their first child, then, you know, they move out on their own. You know, they actually move out of the houseboat and get into their own house or houseboat and, uh, you know, live their life. And then we move another sim in. Now, um, uh, and we just keep doing that. So this is why... Um, we have the subscriber-based interactive ones because the sims that I am using uh, come from you guys. So um, I'll tell you guys how you can participate in just a second. But uh, first of all, I want to tell you uh, my sim's backstory here and introduce you to her. Now, uh, this is my sim, Ella Principal. And um, Ella here, now um, those of you that have been with me for a while know that I like to do really cool backstories and stuff. So her backstory is quite interesting. As we can see, she is a fairy and she's into the pink here. <laughs> but... Um, Ella is the daughter of Cupid and a fairy queen. Um, a long, long time ago, Cupid had a had a, a fling with the with the fairy queen, and uh, born of that came Ella. And uh, Ella was always so fascinated with her father's work that she wanted to help him. And so it's her life's mission to uh, find these you know these poor unfortunate Sims and you know try to get them hitched up with somebody worthy um, who she feels is worthy. Um, 
of, of, of her charges. Now, uh, she does it very differently with, and uh, yeah, she does it very differently and doesn't do like the chubby baby get up and the bow and arrow kind of thing, but yeah. So her thing is, is, is uh, you know, she kind of takes her time at it and she gets to know the people, you know, she uh, kind of carefully weighs like who would be a good matchup with who and all that. So uh, that's how she does it. And then, as I said, you know, once they're established, once they're married, once the couple has their first child, then that couple moves out and then it's time to move in another sim. So that is Ella's backstory and that is the premise of this LP. <clears throat> so now um, I'll tell you guys how to participate and then I'll introduce you um, to, um, to, to a little bit. Then I'll show you what Ella here is wearing and what her personality is. Now uh, to participate, um, I'm asking you guys to create sims. Now you can create any, you can create as many sims as you want to, uh, but uh, I, you know, I will just be using like two at a time, and I'll have them like in my arsenal here. <laughs> so, uh, and it's very easy to participate. Uh, number one, there are a few things that you have to do though. Number one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Uh, you can't just be someone who doesn't watch my videos and going, oh, you know, well, she'll use my sim and I'll get my name mentioned, uh, blah, 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 you know, yada, yada. Um, you have to be subscribed to my channel and, you know, you do have to watch my videos and stuff. So uh, subscribe. And uh, number two, no third party custom content. I am going to be sticking to that, you guys. So when you send the sims, please, please in advance, make sure that they have no custom content on them. You can use anything from expansion packs, anything from stuff packs, um, anything from the EA store, the Sims 3 store, but please no third party custom content. And I am saying please, but um, I am I am going to be a stickler with that. So um, now I will be able to tell, I will be able to pretty much tell like who has custom content and who doesn't because when I download the Sims into my launcher, this is before I install them. Now, when I download the Sims into my launcher, if they have custom content, I notice that the file size is markedly bigger than what, excuse me, the file size is markedly bigger than what a, a Sim would have if um, the, without the third party custom content. So, I mean, we're, look, look, uh, we're looking at like 386 KB, you know, kilobytes, something like that versus like three meg, okay? So uh, if the Sim has custom content, you know, then it's gonna be several meg. But um, so I will be able to tell. And if I suspect that it has third party custom content, then I'm not going to use it. And, you know, especially with the new expansion pack coming out, you guys, in a couple of weeks, I want to try to avoid having that crap in my game right now. I have used custom content. I'm not totally against it. Um, it's just I've had bad custom content in my game that's really harmed things. And when I have that, then my LPs come to a screeching halt and it makes me mad. Um, it makes me unable to put out a video for you guys. And it's just not a good situation all around. So uh, please avoid the third party custom content. If I suspect that it has it in there, then um, I'm not going to be able to use that sim. I'm sorry. But uh uh, and then when you send the Sims, please try to make it like a lone Sim, uh, like somebody that's of marrying age. For example, um, you know, this LP isn't about like how many children you're going to raise. OK, so please no single children, uh, no children. Um, now, if you have a single parent or something and if they have a child, that's fine. OK, but we're not going to take on kids and raise the kids up and then do that. Um, I might do that, you know, I might adopt someone or whatever, or like if um, if I see someone that I really uh, fall in love with or whatever, then, um, you know, then I might do that. But it's not about like taking these kids and raising them up and then doing that. It's about, um, it, you know, it's about um, taking in these grown up Sims and trying to find them a, a match. Okay. So, and as I said, you know, if you have a single parent with a child or whatever, then that's fine too. But, you know, no single children. Uh, try to avoid the teenagers as well, because, um, <clears throat> you know, we'd have to get them a aged up and then, um, you know, find them a, a match or whatever. So uh, do try to, um, young adults are fine, adults are fine, elders are fine, um, but do try to avoid the, the single children and the single teens. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, email me the links to the Sims on the exchange. Um, don't send it to me through YouTube. Don't send it through me through Facebook or Twitter. Email it to me. My email address is on the description uh, below the video. I always have that in my videos. And uh, it's Sweet Nightingale 2907. It's just like my username, Sweet Nightingale 2907 at gmail.com. So when you when you send your Sims, and you can send as many Sims as you want to, but you know, just bear in mind that I won't be able to use the same person's Sim two times in a row because that's just not fair. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a nasty cold, so I have a little bit of a cough going on yet. Um, but uh, there's no limit to how many Sims that you send me, and uh, just 
be forewarned, you know, um, it's going to take me some time to get through everybody's sims, okay, because um, this isn't going to be just um, how many you can move out in a day and move in in a day. Um, you know, we actually have to kind of take a little bit of time and actually do this. So um, the sims that you send and the sims that I use are going to be featured for a while. So, um, but when we do move one out, then we'll have to move one back. You know, we'll have to move a new one in. So um, again, you can send me as many as you want to, but um, I will, you know, just have to use one at a time. Okay, so that's all you got to do. Subscribe to my channel. You have to be a subscriber. Absolutely no, and I do mean none, absolutely no third-party custom content. Um, number three, email me the sim, okay? Number four, um, try to avoid the lone children. Try to avoid the lone teens, okay? You can have children and teens with single parents, but um, no children or teens by themselves. <clears throat> okay, so... Now, <laughs> let's go ahead and look at what um, Ella here is wearing, and I'll get to her personality. So here is Ella's everyday wear. Now, um, I used uh, stuff from the Sims 3 store. The hair came from the Sims 3 store, and so did the dress. Now, the dress is free content, and it should still be up there. I hope it is anyway. But um, the dress is part of a Valentine's set that came out in February of 2012, and uh, it's very cute, as we can see. <laughs> it's very, very cute. She's into the pink, as we were saying, because she's got the pink little wings. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at her formal wear. And this just takes me a little bit, takes me, <laughs> this takes a little bit to load. Um, I have a lot of content, um, you know, without the third party CC, I, you know, because I have like a lot of store content. I have every expansion pack and every stuff pack. Plus I have like probably like 99% of the store content. So um, I do have a lot of stuff that does take some time to load. So Okay. There is her formal wear. Now, uh, the hair came from Master Suite, and uh, we have the different hairstyles for the different outfits, because sometimes I like doing that, you know. So we're going to go ahead and try to just sort of spin her around if we can. The hair came from Master Suite, and then the dress came from the Sims 3 store, okay? So here is, and I recolored the earrings to pink, um, you know, to kind of match her wings. So here's going to be her uh, sleepwear. Pre there we go sleepwear all right now um i just took that nighty from master suite and just recolored it to a cute little blue pattern right there okay so here's going to be her athletic wear and again i believe the hair came from the sims 3 store <coughs> here's her athletic wear now this came from the 70s 80s and 90s stuff and i do believe the hair also came from the sims 3 store i used a lot of store stuff in, in um on ella here here's next going to be her swimwear <coughs> and there is her swimwear and again the hair is from the store the swimsuit is from the sims 3 store okay now here is going to be her outerwear now um if I didn't mention it, we are going to be playing in Isla Paradiso uh, because I did mention the houseboat. Um, there's going to be her outerwear. Now, I probably will fudge the seasons a little bit, and uh, we'll probably just have like spring and summer. Or if we do have all four seasons, and I probably will take off the snow and stuff because in Isla Paradiso, it does not snow. <laughs> so, yeah. So that is Ella. That's what she's wearing. And, um, yeah, so I took the turtleneck and just recolored it and stuff. So I've been, like, playing around a lot with creative style all right so her personality is uh she's friendly she's good she's got a good sense of humor and she's a hopeless romantic and she's a natural cook and her lifetime wish is to be the culinary librarian i just picked something kind of easy with that because you know um i didn't want a career-based Oh, excuse me. I didn't want a career-based lifetime wish for her because um, if anything, she's going to be self-employed. I'll probably make her a, a writer or something because, you know, she, um, her, jo her job is not to actually go out and work and make money. Um, her job is to meet the people around the town and try to find her charges the perfect mate. So <clears throat> that is that is basically her job. Um, but, um, you know, sh she's going to get these wishes to join certain careers. So I'll probably just have her join the writer career. So and be self-employed, which we'll have to get her a, a skill for that to be able to do that. Um, so that is her personality. Now, uh, her likes. Her favorite food is cookies. She likes classical music, and obviously her favorite color is pink. And she is an Aquarius. Now, obviously, you guys have heard her voice. So um, that is Ella. Now, also, a few things that, that I want to tell you guys is um, this is not the LP where we're going to start out, like, from the bottom up, where we're going to get something really dumpy. Like, when you start out with an um, LP... 
uh, featuring an expansion pack or a town or something, you know, um, you end up having to start out really cheap um, and move into like a dinky, dinky, dumpy house and then try to move up in the world. This is not what this LP is going to be about. So I am going to be using some cheats to get her onto a very nice house, both that way we have plenty of room for all the Sims that are going to be living with us. And um, also, I mean, obviously, you know, Ella being who she is, you know, she's going to be rich. And so when we um, get ready to move the couple and their child uh, out, uh, we're probably going to go ahead and pick the house for them and, and take the money out of the funds and stuff. So we will be adjusting the um, the money from time to time. And, um, you know, she will have enough money to get them everything she needs. Like we'll probably get everybody laptops and tablets and all that good stuff. Um, we'll probably end up even um, building a business and maybe doing a resort and stuff too. But <clears throat> there's a lot for us to do. So, uh, but... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me excuse me excuse me okay guys so anyways i was saying so we will be adjusting the money um accordingly as we need to do so um i will be using a you know i will be using a few cheats you know just to kind of get them uh to kind of get ella somewhere nice and to be able to uh, move our families into nicer places you know so that they don't start out with something really dumpy when they you know because like when you do the, just the regular kick out you know then then the um the the game just kind of pops them into probably like the cheapest thing you know that they can get so <clears throat> so uh, we want to be able to pick something nice for them um you know to control that a little bit so um I will be adjusting the money as we need to. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, get Ella situated onto a houseboat. Now she is going to move onto a houseboat. Um, er ergo, uh, this is why the LP is called The Love Ship. Now, um, I was going to call this The Love Boat, but there was an old um, TV show from the 70s and 80s called The Love Boat, and I didn't want to, I really didn't want to copy that. So um, we're going to call this The Love Ship. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and pop Ella into a houseboat, and um, I'm just going to pick something, and then I'll show you around, and then I'll show you um, how we're going to merge um, the two households so that we can get... Um, so that we can get two sims to live with Ella right away. So now I will put Ella onto the exchange so that you guys can have her um, in your own game if you want to. Uh, she has no custom content. Uh, she just has a lot of store stuff. So if you want her to look the way that, that she does, um, you'll have to have the store content items that I used on her. Okay, guys, um, I'll be back and uh, I'll show you around as soon as I get her settled and uh, we'll, we'll move on with the episode. Hey guys, I'm back. Now, um, I'm, I kind of took a little bit longer than what I thought uh, with doing this because um, I decided to actually build um, a houseboat here for our uh, Sims. Okay, because I was looking at stuff and I just really didn't like um, what was out there. Um, you know, for this particular LP. Now, as I said, um, I did use some cheats to go ahead and build up this houseboat the way I wanted it to, but then I knocked the, um, <clears throat> I knocked the, the funds back down to sort of a more reasonable thing here. Um, as I said, you know, this LP isn't about like uh, starting from the bottom up and then whatever, you know, this LP is, you know, being able to take care of these, uh, these Sims here and try to find them their, their match here. So anyway, uh, let me go ahead and show you the houseboat that I made. Now, um, as, uh, what I'm going to do is I will put this on the exchange so that you guys can download this. And, and it will have um, Ella in it. You know, it'll just have just Ella. But um, you can always evict her. And maybe I might put this down again somewhere and then just, um, you know, have the houseboat by itself. But um, <clears throat> if you want to, um, I will go ahead and save this to the to the upload this to the exchange and then you guys can download this and then you can play with Ella or you can evict her if you want to. So anyway, um, here is the front of the of the place here and uh, I went ahead and put a hot tub. As we come inside, um, we have our living room right here with the big screen TV and all that good stuff. Ah, stop, 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 stop. All right. So there is our living room. We got kind of our nice sofa and got a computer here with um, a little reading nook right there as we can see kind of in the corner um, and then we have a little bathroom that I went ahead and put in with the toilet and the shower over here we have a study which I went ahead and uh, put in some bookcases we have like um, I probably should move the chandelier just a little bit okay <clears throat> so here is our little study put in the couch and the little coffee table put in another tv we got a couple of bookcases right there it's not a real big study but you know it's just it's there and then i put in the um put in another computer and a love seat uh over here is now i like me a really nice big done up kitchen so i totally 
um, totally splurged on the kitchen here. Uh, we've got the Japanese grill. We got the wood fire oven. We got everything that we could possibly need in this kitchen. Over here is a dining room. Um, and I put in a lot of little sliding doors. That way they can get from room to room. I, I just thought, you know, on a houseboat like this, it'd be kind of neat. Now back here is a little outdoor grill. And uh, I just kind of uh, put in some railings, you know, just to kind of make it look a little better so that nobody sort of falls off the boat, I guess. Not that the, not that the Sims do, but yeah. Uh, so anyway, that is our dining room right there. Now, this is our first floor. Okay. And then our second floor. Um, now, as we can see on the outside of this house, um, I did do it pink because, uh, and I need to take, no, it's fine. Um, I did do this pink because, you know, Ella's favorite color is pink. So I did the outside of her house pink. <laughs> Very colorful, I guess. It's not really, uh, you know, a lot of people don't really do that. And I can see that. But, you know, beans, it's kind of um, Ella's favorite. You know, I just, I thought I, I thought it would be different. And I thought I would go ahead and do that. Now, um, I did the pink bedroom for her. Uh, she's got a really, really nice bedroom. This is her, this is the master bedroom. We put a TV right there. We've got um, a really nice bed. We've got the magic mirror. We've got a nice vanity. I put in a uh, stereo and uh, little decorations and stuff. Uh, we've got phones, got an alarm clock. I gave her a rocking chair. And then I'll, I also put in the foot massage chair. Um, there's her little fairy house right here. Just a couple of chairs so that if people want to come in and talk to her, you know, while she's relaxing or something, you know, they can do that. And then here is her bathroom. Uh, just again, I put in the toilet. We got the heart shaped mirror. <coughs> added a few little accents you know shower and tub thing right there <clears throat> which came with island paradise over here's a little entertainment area i put in the i put in a professional bar and then i put in the coffee bar right there so nothing nothing real major right there uh let's see and then it's if she wants to come out and kind of hang out on a little deck i put in a couple of little um lounge chairs right there with the railings and that out here is like an outdoor area and, you know, when she gets ready to throw weddings and stuff, you know, we can always move some things around and put in an arch and stuff, you know, because that would be good. Um, but I put in another grill. We've got a dining table. We've got another bar. Uh, we've got lounge chairs here. I put in a little nectar maker because downstairs in the basement, um, I do have like a small um, couple of little small little nectar cases and stuff. And I just I thought that would be kind of cool. And also we have a fire pit. So. Uh, this is a kind of a nice little outdoor area right there. Um, up here on this floor, I put in, uh, we have our two bedrooms and two bathrooms for two of our, for our two Sims to live in. And we have not so routine machines, which also Ella has down here in her room, uh, which I put in their bathrooms. They got quite, quite big bathrooms, uh, pretty big bedrooms and stuff. So um, these are the two bedrooms where our Sims are going to uh, live uh, for when they are here. Uh, let's see that's just kind of our little uh, ladder area right there to go in and out uh, let's see now down over here actually yeah this is our little helm room um, I put our little driving helm thing kind of inside so that like if they want to upgrade it you know they don't have to do it on uh, in the in the outside <clears throat> so anyway here are the two bedrooms and the bathrooms and stuff for our two sims to live in when when um, when they arrive okay um, I just pretty much did the bedrooms and stuff the same way, you know, nothing, nothing super major or anything. Um, up here, I made another bedroom, and this this bedroom is quite a bit bigger, you know, quite a bit bigger. And then uh, we've also got a um, a bathroom right there as well. And then over here we have a um, a magic area. We have the fortune tellers table. We have the um, I put in the science research station right there. We have alchemy. <clears throat> excuse me we have alchemy we have the gem cutting machine we have a cauldron right there so that is our little magic room and then up here um i have a skilling area we have the inventor's table the sculpting bench outdoor shower just in case somebody sets themselves on fire uh potions um and then chess over here is the music room we have some guitars the violin the bass the drums um grand piano right there so very cool and then uh over here over here is the um over here's the train set for um ella or anybody else to kind of 
play with and mess with and all that. Then we have easels right there to paint with. Uh, let's see. So that is our, um, that is that floor. And then up here, I just put in um, a couple of the gardening stations, you know, for when we get ready to plant some things. And um, I went ahead and adjusted the seasons for just winter and summer, or not winter, but summer and spring, because with, with uh, Isla Paradiso, you know, we're not going to have a bunch of snow and stuff. So um, that is that. And then we have, we do have a basement, which I made. And, um, Oh, and I should put some more lights in. Yeah, I'm going to put some more lights in next to this wall. Okay, guys, so here is our basement. Now, over here, um, I went ahead and put in our gambling stuff. We have slot machines. We have one roulette table, one blackjack table, and one um, poker table. <coughs> put in some karaoke, and I put in the the um, level up basketball, um, or the basketball three free throw machines from the level up set. We got the gyroscope conductor right there. We've got the dance floor here. So um, this is kind of like a gambling entertainment area down here. Um, and I think I may put in the bubble bar. I think I may do that. Um, over here we have uh, sort of a gym area. We've got the all-in-one bathroom for showers and stuff. We've got the little pull-up bar. We've got a couple of the um, martial arts stuff right there, board breakers and training dummies. we got the treadmill. Uh, and then we got a couple of exercise um, benches right there, the power burn stations. And then we have the mechanical bull. So um, my ob my objective for doing it this way is so that, um, you know, she can have like everything a sim could possibly want, um, you know, because sometimes, you know, a, a sim may have just been so hard on their luck that they really, um, they're kind of afraid to go out. And uh, so Ella here just wants everybody to feel at home when, you know, when they're living here. So that's why we have so much stuff. And that's why I wanted to go ahead and build this houseboat just exactly the way I wanted to build it so yeah um that is that is that and then we have our little nectar shelves down right there so anyway um i'm gonna take care of just a couple of other things and then i'll be right back okay guys so i just moved a couple of things around uh, I put the karaoke machine up here and hopefully hopefully they'll be able to get through things and get to the ladders and to the bar and stuff. I hope they'll be able to. I'll have to test this out just to make sure it's going to work. And then down here I was able to put the bubble bar. So we got the basketball machine and then we have the little bubble bar. So hopefully that should work and, um, and then we'll be off to go here. But uh, you know I'm not much of a builder you guys but I think I did pretty decent on this on this little place. I mean, it's not so little, but, um, I think I did pretty, I think I did pretty decent. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this on the exchange and, um, I'll give you the download link for, um, so that you guys can download this, this house if you want it, this little houseboat. So, um, yeah, and then we'll get right into the gameplay. Okay, guys, now we're back. Now, obviously, we are not at Ella's houseboat. I went ahead and got Ella off the lot so I could go ahead and build um, her houseboat. And in this episode, I think we're just going to go ahead and play with Ella and make sure her house and everything works and maybe have her meet a couple of people. So anyway, I sent her over to this guy here. Now, she is next. He lives next door to Ella, um, as we can see on the map here. I'll just kind of I'll just I'll just kind of pan out a little bit so that we can see. See, there's Ella's boat, the nice and pink one right there. And then uh, here is this guy, um, Ribicel, uh and I forgot his last name. And I'll show you his house too. But this is Ribicel, uh, Ru Ribicel, Itch. Ichtika, Ichtika, I guess. And so this is his houseboat. Now he is, if you go into Edit Town, he's the one that is called the Prince, okay? And so he is from Royal Lineage and, and all that good stuff. So he's got a really nice boat too, as we can see. Um, not quite as uh, not quite as done up as Ella's, but yeah. So here is his first floor. I'll just kind of go over it, it a little bit. And then he's got like... Um, fire pit right there to sit at and then he's got um he's got a bedroom and a gym up here so yeah um he's got a pretty nice decent place to live yeah and i don't think he has a basement but he does have a hot tub as we can see right there on the on the outside right here so anyway we're gonna go ahead and talk to this guy and see if we can become friends with him and stuff uh because that'll just be somebody that she can know now i went ahead and um, while I was building their house, I went ahead and got a couple of interactions going. And so as we can see, she is now a one-star celebrity because she went ahead and impressed him. So <clears throat> anyway, we're going to go ahead and get the game going and we're going to try to befriend this guy. So we're going to do a bunch of funny interactions and see if that's going to work. Oh, there's our stupid university guy. Ah, you know, at least it just happens like one time in the game, but oh, there, yeah, our mascot always, always like pulls us from what we're doing over there. So we want to come back over here. And we're going to talk to this guy. 
He's got a good sense of humor and stuff, it looks like, because he finds it pretty funny. So we're going to go ahead and do a funny. Let's go ahead and show um, Internet Cats video again. Oh. <laughs> so. Yeah, he kind of likes it. So, yep, uh, your friendly neighborhood university mascot, blah, 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 blah. So we did this a few times, then we're going to be able to befriend him, so that'll be good. Um, so funny, we're going to go ahead and um, uh, show a funny video. <coughs> see, as we can see, that relationship meter is going up. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, ew. He's like, ew, because that was a gross video that we just showed. Uh, okay, show internet cats video. See, if we do a lot of these funny things, um, there we go. So she's friends with him, which is good. So we don't need to keep doing that. We can go ahead and chat with him and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and do friendly. We're going to go ahead and um, uh, let's let's go ahead and um, um, let's go ahead and ask him about his alma mater. We can go ahead and um, ooh, ask about funds. Okay. See if that works. Um brag about playful prank um let's go ahead and do oh look we can go ahead and salute him we'll take off the we'll take off the ask about funds <laughs> okay let's go ahead and uh let's do a shaka bra <laughs> The shaka shaka. Oh, that's Okay. Ella learned that uh, Rubisol graduated from uh, the School of Peace and Love. <laughs> Interesting to me. So, being sociable. Um, okay, paparazzi, blah, 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 blah. Paparazzi, who cares? So, um, she's, got, she's got some wishes here. Um, learn alchemy skill. Use a rocking chair. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and have her go on home because we went ahead and talked to this, this guy here. <clears throat> so... Now, she wanted to learn cooking skills, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I went ahead and just, um, you know, because I was kind of playing with the money a little bit, and I went ahead and got a couple of these boats. That way she can kind of play around a little bit here. Because um, I said, you know, as I said, um, this isn't really about starting from the bottom up, this one. You know, we want to be sure that we have enough to get all of our sins, the, the stuff that we want to, that we do. So, so we're going to go ahead and have her just go on home. And then we'll just, we'll make sure that her house is going to work here. We'll have her, we'll have her cook up a little something here. So there she goes. She's going to, she's going to float. <laughs> there you go, Ella. I guess you got to kind of walk home a little bit in the water. I can't remember if she's still listening to her cab cast. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Because when she got in the water, she had to stop. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do cooking again here. Go ahead and do cooking since you wanted to do that. And then we'll have her cook something up. Now, um, in her kitchen, I went ahead and um, I went ahead and uh, gave her the um, culinary fridge. You know that you get like that they get from the culinary reward thing so we're going to go ahead and have her just cook up a little something here let's go ahead and serve up some brunch she can go ahead and make some uh let's go ahead and have her make some teppanyaki chicken fried rice we'll go ahead and make sure that she's going to be able to get back in and to be able to get to her kitchen and stuff so there's our university welcome kit we're going to go ahead and put that away All right. All right. Now for this house, um, I don't have any third party custom content in it. Um, I just have stuff from the store, stuff from expansion packs, you know. I did go into buy debug mode so that we could get the, uh, so that we could get the um, martial arts stuff in the Nectar Maker. So she got a cooking skill, which is really good. 
Naka. <laughs> okay, so learn science skill. Let's see what else that she wants to do here. Um, use a rocking chair, which we can do. Collect one <sighs> gem. So she's got like a bunch of these wishes because I, you know, when I got her a bunch of stuff, you know, oh, we do need to get her a telescope at some point. So we'll have to make sure that we do that. <coughs> okay. Oh, Ella, you messed it up. Oh, Ella, 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 Ella. Well, do it again. Uh, serve brunch, do the teppanyaki chicken fried rice. First thing you cook and you mess it up and you're supposed to be a natural cook. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you guys, but up here on the roof, I went ahead and put up the a couple of the gardening stations right there so that when we plant things, we'll get some planter bowls and, and take care of that. All right, so we got cooking skill to level two. Well, Ella, you should be okay now. We'll have to get some recipes and stuff for her. Which I think we'll go ahead and do that after she eats, and then she can read something while she gets in her rocking chair. Uh, let's see. Win a prize in the arcade claw machine. Uh, let's see. Collect a gem. Discover a potion. Learn sculpting skill. There's so much you want to do, Ella, I know. Go ahead and grab yourself a plate. I'm thinking that this is probably just going to be great quality. Okay, so go ahead and um, grab yourself a plate. We'll get your belly full. All right. So we'll go ahead and put away these leftovers. And she's eating in her cute little dining room right there. Got to love it. Hmm. Mm. And I love the sound of the water out here, guys. You know, it's just so nice. So, so nice. And we will, we can take gifts for uh, these guys in this LP, so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clean this up. So, yeah, we can take gifts for this series, which, which will be nice. Now, in the next part, we will go ahead and move in a couple of Sims with her. But I just want to make sure that her house is going to work um, right now and just kind of play with her just a little bit so that we can kind of get her established and get her started and stuff so anyway let's go ahead and have her just buy some recipes right now and then she can go ahead and read something while uh while we're waiting so let's go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and uh let's go ahead and shop online for some books okay so let's go ahead and just get some recipes we'll just get a few get some ratatouille we'll get some chili con carne vegetarian chili vegetarian fish and chips mushroom omelets uh fish and chips and um hot and sour soup and some cookies and uh i think that'll be it for right now we can always get some more a little bit later so we're gonna go ahead and have her listen to something again we need to get her going up on her charisma because if she's going to, you know, make some friends really fast, you know, I think that would be a good thing. So, Ella, we're going to go up here to your your pink room <laughs> and you wanted to use a rocking chair. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and rock. OK, make sure that she can get up there. She should be able to get up there because we've got our little ladder. That's good. I went ahead and put our ladders in the str strategic places. All right. <laughs> so she goes out there to go inside to go into her room. Crazy. All right. Ella, we're going to go ahead and read something. Um, should be able to um, let's go ahead and uh, read that while rocking read chili con carne while rocking we can go ahead and read some ratatouille while rocking uh, let's see she can't read cookies just yet um, she can read mushroom omelets while rocking 
Read vegetarian chili while rocking. She can't read fish and chips just yet. Um, nor hot and sour soup. So that should um, that should be good right there. So um, okay. So Ella got a charisma skill. <clears throat> okay, so she learned how to make chili con carne. Very nice. She's going to have to pee kind of soon here. All right. There we go. So we'll have her read a few more things and then we'll have her go to the bathroom. And see, we, we put in some really nice big windows for her so that, you know, so that we can look out, you know. This is supposed to be a very, very peaceful place and all that good stuff. So, um, starving for moonlight um, from Carrie. It says, uh, the moon, where is it? Uh, will it ever return or did Ella make it angry? Uh, Ella just can't seem to, um, let's see, Ella just, Ella just can't seem to focus without the moon um, gazing down on her. And from Fairy. <clears throat> beautifully decorated because we've got some really nice paintings and stuff on the wall having a blast uh, she's fulfilled and a great meal and new friend all right Wahoo! she learned that recipe there all right And she wants to learn alchemy skill and a project aura of soothing, which we can do. Use a rocking chair, which we're about to do here. So Ella, we'll go ahead and get done with you. And then let's go ahead and uh, um, we'll do aura. She wants to do aura of soothing. And then let's go ahead and set her music to this um, set music. Let's go ahead and set it. Uh, let's set it to auto. And then we're going to go ahead and select music. Let's go ahead and do ambient three. And then we're going to go ahead and use the bathroom. All right, there you go, Ella. All right. Take a bubble bath. Hmm, can do that. Buy a wall mounted speaker. Hmm. Get ingredients for mushroom omelets. Uh, let's see. Get ingredients for chili. Buy a wall-mounted speaker. I guess we could try to do that. All right. All right, Ella, who's calling you here? Um, let's go ahead and ignore the call. We may get an opportunity. Yeah. Ignore the call. And then we'll then we'll have her come up to listen to something again. And um, uh, we could go ahead and listen to some more cooking. And then we'll see if we can get her to discover a potion here. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And then we're going to come up here to the... Uh, to. Okay, so this is this is where we're going to have to make sure that this is, this is all going to work, that we can get to it. Uh, we're going to try to discover a potion. I'm just going to make sure that she can get up here to things. Okay, guys, so we're back. Now, I fixed it. Um, note to self, uh, don't put the ladders up against the wall. <laughs> don't put the ladders totally up against the wall. So, yeah. Um, all right, we got cooking the level three. All right. Okay, she feels the power of the fae, blah, blah, blah. So she's got something... Yeah, we'll have to make sure that we cancel her aura um, because of the way she's going to be out of fairy magic. But we can always put her on the train set and that'll restore it. So oh. <coughs> that won't be too bad. Hmm. Uh, Etza. 
Let's see how she does. say while she does this we've got some other wishes here mm -hmm. uh project aura of creativity huh. mm -hmm. learn a new recipe huh. <coughs> mm. you can go ahead and put learn mm. a new recipe on there uh-huh and then uh, we'll put the aura on there because that'll be some easy things for us to do to get some of her wishes up We'll see how she does with all this. She blows herself up. We've got the outdoor shower that we can, Aww. that she can take her shower in. Uh, okay, so um, Ella is fed up with, with cold okay. showers, blah, blah, blah. So Bring now she out. can do some fairy tricks. <laughs> she can fairy trap toilets, blah, blah, blah. So Ella, actually when you're done, we'll go ahead and have you take your shower. Um, mind over matter. So we've got some logic skill under her belt. Huh. See if she can discover something or see if she blows herself up here. Mm -hmm. Starving for moonlight again. And she's sleepy. Uh, fairy magic waning. Okay, so we're going to have to make sure that we... Having a blast. Uh, nicely decorated. Eska. Okay, Ella, I want to see what you're going to do, see if you're going to discover something. Actually, before you take your shower, we're going to have to make sure that we cancel your aura. Go ahead, aura. Let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and stop, stop your aura. So she runs out of her magic, you know, we can always, <coughs> we can always put her on the train set and stuff, and then that will help, that will help her. All right, come on, Ella. Hmm. Yargle. Uh. Hmm. Huh. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna run out of magic here. Okay, so we got to logic skill to level two. Very nice. Hmm. Huh. Oh, very magic critical. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Yeah, her magic will come back, but you can kind of see it's fading, 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 hmm. fading. Nice Very magic Eva. depleted. Eska. Minus 15 mood for six hours. So when she goes to bed, she'll be able to get it back, so. <coughs> Imbleharf. Huh. Abala. Lark? She's getting sleepy here. Mm -hmm. She's getting really, really tired. Mm -hmm. There's somebody's boat. Nimzo mm -hmm. Yargo. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, I hope after all this you discover something because you're... Because mm. hmm. you're taking a while. Okay, come on. 
Let's go. There we go. <clears throat> oh, the lag. Imbleharf. Huh. All right, come on. Huh. The Sheena. She's tired. Very magic depleted. Yep, starving for moonlight. Mm. Hungry. Having a blast. Nicely decorated. Uh, Epsa. Come on. This takes a while, especially the first one, it seems. Laguna. Mm hmm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Well, we got logic to level three, so she's, uh, she can now search the galaxy. So yeah, we need a telescope, but yeah, I'd like her to see if she can get one of these. If not, you know, I mean, I know she's getting hungry and tired, which we're going to have to fix, but. Hmm. hmm. Huh. Yargo. Uh. Hmm. Come yeah, on. Mm -hmm. hmm. See what you're gonna do here. Mm -hmm. Huh. Huh. Not too much to say while she does this, I'd, I'd tell you. She may quit on her own if she's gonna... Hmm. Yeah, we may have to stop her because this is getting a little ridiculous here. Hmm. Yep, I think we're gonna have to stop her, so... Let's go ahead and stop her for right now. We'll get her in the shower and then we're gonna have to come back down to get something to eat because... She was pretty hungry, and then we're going to have to get her put to bed. So, we'll go ahead and get the leftovers. Teppanyaki chicken and rice. Oh, there goes our garden station. Because on the roof, like I said, I, I showed you guys that. So, it's just going to kind of do the auto water, even though we don't have anything planted. But, um, you know, we'll plant some stuff in a little while, and... Um, yeah. So it kind of takes a little bit to kind of get down the ladders and stuff, but, you know, that's it's kind of nice to be able to have those ladders and stuff, and then, oh, so she passes out. <laughs> I know you're tired, Ella, but you got to get something to eat. Here, go eat. <laughs> <laughs> the summer festival i know I, I kept her up like so late i really did um leftovers i was really trying to get her to i was really trying to get her to uh yeah. discover that potion but yeah location merchant and we're, we're gonna have to put down like alistair's and a couple of other things you know so that we can that we can uh you know all right so she'll go ahead and eat that. Mm. And looks mm. like we're getting some mail. Mm. So we'll mm. go ahead and clean that up. Mm. And she does have to pee, so... Mm. Oh, go away. Mm. Yes, go away. So when you're all done, we're going to go ahead and set the music here. Let's go ahead and um, select music. Let's do ambient one for this. And then let's go ahead and... Um, uh, let's go ahead and set music to auto and then we're going to go ahead and use and then we'll go ahead and get her put to put to bed here all 
All right. There you go, Ella. Okay, so then we're going to get up here. Now, we could go ahead and have her sleep in her little fairy house, which I think we'll do. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and sleep. Sleep. So she, she kind of goes like outside to go into her room, which is odd, you know, which is really, really odd. I wish, really do wish that we wouldn't have to do that. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to see if I can maybe, maybe uh, put another door in so that we can reroute that. But yeah. So anyway, guys, um, I will see you when she's up in the morning and um, we'll just play a little bit more and then uh, we'll end the part. So um, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so we're back and um, she's up and... We're going to go ahead and have her listen to a gardening tab cast. And we're going to go up and sing some karaoke. Now, what I did is I, I want to show you guys what I did. I fixed. I think I figured out why she was going outside to get into her bedroom. And it was because I had um, I, I had one of the walls kind of messed up. So I, I put like a, I moved the ladder a little bit, put like a little area that's just off her bedroom to kind of get up and down there like so. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so that's, that's what I did. And then I... Um, uh, she's able to she's able to get there and I may have to put something else because otherwise like when they go up to these other floors they're gonna well not really they're not gonna end up in her room but um, hopefully you know when they go up to that entertainment area you know the I may have to put another door in there to kind of go off there so that they don't have to go through her room all the time so we're gonna go ahead and go up these ladders and she'll get a lot of exercise from climbing these ladders I'll tell you <laughs> So we're going to sing some karaoke and and we have no music <laughs> so we don't get to hear her sing but it's going to be soundless which kind of is weird but but I mean she's going to be bad anyway because usually they are like when they when they try to do this. <laughs> We should actually go ahead and have her ride the train set, which actually will get her, which, which actually will get her powers back up. Beautifully decorated, of course. Uh, great meal. New stuff. Listening to Tabcast. Um, having a blast. I guess maybe her magic is kind of back. We can go ahead and, uh, we can go ahead and ride the train set when she's done. Okay, anything worth doing. So yeah, we, we got some gardening skill, which is going to be really good. A sale has just started at um, groceries. Okay, so we could actually get some stuff to plant. <coughs> but yeah, I just want to make sure that, that everything in her house is going to work correctly. All right, there we go. This, this, should, uh, this should get her magic back. There we go. And it's going to get that fun level up. And yeah, that's, that's just so cute. That is just so adorable. It really is. Let's see. Discover a potion. She wants a bubble bath. So let's see if we can go ahead and get her to discover something again here. Um, actually, let's see. Go back down here. Actually, yeah. Let's go, let's go ahead and see if we can get her to, to discover a potion. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to another. We, you know what? We might as well skill up as long as we're here. Might as well. So we're going to go ahead and listen to another cooking tab cast. And then we'll see what we can discover. So go ahead and uh, discover a potion. We'll have to make sure that she can get down into our basement as well. <laughs> She should be able to because I think I have that ladder pretty well placed. Alright. Hopefully she won't... Uh, hopefully she won't blow up. She's getting a little hungry again. and Now she didn't get a full night's sleep or anything, so yeah. 
I just want to see if she can discover this potion real quick. Hmm. So I'd like to get some of these wishes taken care of. <clears throat> Join gardener career. We need to learn some writing skill because yeah. I think I want to um, have her be self-employed and just be a writer because I think that's probably the easiest thing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Not too much to say while we're doing this. Yorbo. Ashina. Uh-huh. Kimbleharf. Huh. Probably shouldn't put this on speed huh. two because I think they stand a little bit more of a chance to blow themselves up. Hmm. <coughs> oh. <coughs> well, she went to bubble bath, so yeah, she blew herself up. So we're we're actually gonna go ahead and come down to her bathroom and we're gonna we're gonna take us a bubble bath because that's what she wants to do. So yeah. Okay, Ella, we're going to go back in here to your bathroom, and you don't have to pee too bad, but we're going to, we're going to come in here, and we're going to go ahead, and um, we're going to go ahead, and oh, we need, we need to get some bubble bath. Okay, guys, now I went ahead and got some bubble bath for each tub here, so we're going to go ahead and ha just have her take a bubble bath. Take a delightful bubble bath. It just it takes a long time to get to get up and down these ladders and stuff but you know I suppose it's not really any longer than the the stairs I guess she's gonna go ahead and do that let's see let's go ahead and set music select music we're gonna select uh, okay so let's set ambient 2 and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna set music to auto. Okay. So when she gets all done, we'll just go ahead and have her go to the bathroom. She can wash her hands. Hunger. She's getting a little hungry. We'll go ahead and have her cook something, but this kind of takes a little bit, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and speed that up. We'll have to go ahead and get our bills too. Yeah, it kind of takes them a long time to take their bubble bath. Uh, bathe until tranquil. She's singed, having a blast. Nicely decorated, fulfilled, squeaky clean, and um, energized by moonlight. Now we get some moonlight. Okay. Hopefully she'll. Hopefully she won't come out singed. Otherwise, we'll have to have her take a shower. But hopefully this ought to do it. All right. Oh, there goes our gardening. Okay, so she's she is okay. She's no longer singed. Okay, very nice. So we gotta we gotta go ahead and do some plants. Definitely gotta do some plants, and we could go to the grocery store and get some stuff. But I think we'll go ahead and have her come down to make something. Uh, we can go ahead and serve up. Uh, let's go ahead and serve some dinner, and we can go ahead and make a. Let's go ahead and make some ratatouille. We should have had her listen to something, but that's okay. 
See, I'm just kind of doing this just to make sure that her house works. Then we'll go ahead and down to her basement and see if we can get something to work. We'll see if we can get down there and get to things. We should be able to. She wants to project aura of creativity and learn a new recipe. So we can do that. So when she gets done, we can go ahead and do aura of uh, creativity. We'll have her listen to cooking again. Somebody's there. All right. Got a cooking skill. Go ahead and uh, grab yourself a plate. We'll go ahead and put away this. So, okay, so she prepared great quality. All right. So we'll go ahead and clean it up when, uh, oh, we could kick it up a notch. Um, okay, so Ella has learned to utilize her fairy form to get to those hard to reach places and perform a fairy repair on um, broken objects. Okay, very nice. So it doesn't really take all that long to level up a, she's got uh, cooking to level four. So it doesn't really take all that long to, um, to uh, well, let's go ahead and stop the aura so she doesn't um, mess up her, her fairy magic here but yeah um it doesn't really take that long to get a to get a uh, to level up a fairy okay so let's go ahead and see if she can get down to her basement and we we can go ahead and have her just practice some martial arts i guess so go ahead and practice until she gets tired make sure she'll be able to get down there okay so she is able to get down there. That is good. That is good. That is good. That is good. So I kind of like to test this out before I put this stuff on the exchange. Um, you know, that way it's going to work for you guys. You know, those of you that want it. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what. I think we're going to go ahead and end this part here for now. Uh, project aura of body and mind, which, which she could do. Um... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this part here. We'll just go ahead and let her do some martial arts right now. And then in the next part, I'll show you guys how I um, will bring two Sims into the household here. And we can go ahead and get started on getting matching people up here. So we've already got cooking skill to level five. So yeah, um, very nice. Uh, let's see. She wants to grow ingredients for pumpkin pie. Hmm. Um, but anyway, like I said, in the next part, I'll show you how I move two Sims in and we'll get to work on playing Cupid here. <laughs> now that I know that her house works, um, you know, that I fixed everything that I needed to fix. So um, anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. I really, really hope you're going to like this series. Uh, give this a big thumbs up. I really, really do appreciate those likes. Uh, hit the heck out of that like button. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, Subscribe to see more of the series, plus into the other series I do that you're interested in. Um, leave a comment. I think I said that. Leave a comment, and you guys have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you guys all later. Bye, guys. Uh.